he does read my mind and he's like, no, 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 Chris, we're not doing that. <laughs> and also, he'll always shape my hair, which a lot of hairstylists won't do. You know, they'll trim it, but not put a bit of shape in. So I just like the fact that we've built this relationship over certainly seven years now. He was British. Um, Afro hairstylist. He's the current holder at the moment, so he won it in 2011-2012, and he has won so many awards. You know, he's just. I mean, if you have a look in his salon, normally he's got them all out, and they just they just cover everything. So, yeah, and he's now on board. So he's in the Hall of Fame. You know, and he's there for a very good reason. <laughs> yeah. And then, do you want to tell us about um, obviously your work life? My hair needed a break. I used heat on it every day, two lots of heat. I used the hair dryer and I used tongs every single day. Um, I had colour in and I had a relaxer. So that is a lot of stress on all that hair. So I thought I'm going to give it a break. It would take me three, two hours before. It now takes me two to five minutes. No, no, five minutes is too long. It takes me about two minutes to do my hair. Big yeah. difference. Yes, a big, big difference. And, you know, I just wanted something new and I just felt a bit dated. So, yeah. I think match hair can be work appropriate if it's cut properly, if it's got some sort of shape to it. Um, it cuts down on styling type if you've already got a shape to work with. So, you know, just applying products, choosing the correct products for your hair as well, like with the coisters. I don't know if you saw how quick that was, and it still remained quite professional, you know, considering taking to her, her work environment. And she has to look professional, and then again, she has to look quite smart. How did your boss react to your, you wanting to change your look? Um, not the way I expected him to. I was quite frightened. Number one, that it was going to be basically an afro, okay? When we put it down to its basics, it's an afro on air reading the news. You don't see that. So I went to see him. I explained to him that, you know, um, my hair was in bad condition at even break. And secondly, it was taking me two hours a day explaining the process that I put my hair through. And he was shocked, didn't know what a relaxer was, didn't know what a, a trend, what um, a texturizer was, didn't understand why it took me two hours. Um, so I explained to him why, and he basically threw the question straight back at me. And he said, well, what makes you think you had to do that to your hair? Um, and I couldn't answer. Because my answer would have been, well, that's how you want me to look, isn't it? Um, and as we kept talking, he eventually, the conversation eventually finished on him saying, well, Chris, you know, for example, if I worked in Africa, for example, or in an indigenous population that was, you know, had lots of curly hair, would you expect me to have a curly perm? So I fitted in. And um, I went, no. And he said, well, why did you do it in the first place? You know, there are basic guidelines with the news, as in it has to be non-distracting, you know, neat. Well, you know, we all make our hair neat before we go out. It's just normal. Um, but yeah, I was surprised. I was the one who walked away with pie in my face, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think if we walked out of here now and you asked somebody, um, what do you think of my natural hair? They probably would think, what do you mean natural? It's your hair, isn't it? Okay. The whole natural thing has become big for us because we've been... It's a, it's a historical thing, okay? We do so much to our hair and it's not, it shouldn't be looked at as a bad thing. You can do what on earth you want with your hair. It's a style thing. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to a wig if I was going out and I wanted to change my look. Yeah, it's a style option. Always look at it as that. But don't make it a life a life option because if you do that for the rest of your life your hair will suffer but most people if you walked out of here wouldn't even know what point you're trying to get at they'll just look at you and go you've got hair on your head you know what, what what's your point um so i think it is us a lot of it is us yeah.